Hey, what's up guys? This is your Lord. Back to you with another video on taxation. So whether you're a new business owner, a seasoned one, or a student learning taxation, this topic will definitely help you. So in this video, I'm going to talk about basics of business taxes here in the Philippines. As the term suggests, business tax is a tax levied on taxpayers engaged in business. Now, one of the common questions asked is, is it the same with income taxes? Now, before we answer that, let's distinguish income tax with business taxes. The term income tax refers to a type of tax that the government imposes on income generated by businesses and individuals within their jurisdiction. Whereas business taxes refers to tax levied on specified profit-making causes and business activities. Simply put, income taxes are levied on income, realized gain, or other similar nature, while business taxes are generally levied on business activities. Now, one of the more common business taxes is what we call percentage tax. Now, in general, if the taxpayer's gross sales or gross receipts does not exceed the VAT threshold of 3 million, they will be under percentage tax. Whereas, because of the enactment of the CREATE law, it reduced the percentage tax from 3% to 1% based on gross sales or gross receipts. But do take note that the 1% percentage tax rate shall be effective from July 1, 2020 until June 23, 2023. For other business activities specified by the tax code, they will have their own designated percentage tax rates. Now, for more information on Section 116 down to Section 126 of the tax code as amended, which pertains to percentage tax and other percentage tax, you can check out this video right here, and I will also link it in the description below. Now, if the taxpayer's gross receipts or gross sales exceeds 3 million or the VAT threshold, they will now be required to update their registration for VAT. Now, do take note, percentage taxpayers also has the option to update their registration to be VAT registered. Value added tax, or VAT for short, is a form of sales tax. It is a tax on consumption levied on the sale, barter, exchange, or lease of goods or properties and services, and on importation of goods into the Philippines. Now, in computing VAT, we need to take into consideration what we call input VAT and output VAT. The term input tax means the value-added tax due from or paid by VAT-registered persons in the course of his trade or business on importation of goods or local purchase of goods or services, including lease or use of property from a VAT-registered person. For a VAT-registered entity, input tax is a temporary asset whose nature reduces VAT liability. Now, when we say output tax, it is the value-added tax due on the sale or lease of taxable goods or properties or services by any person registered or required to register under Section 107 of the Tax Code. For a more detailed discussion on VAT, such as the different type of sale and different types of input taxes, you can check out this video right here. Again, I will link it all in the description below. Now, to answer our question a while ago, if I am a business owner, is the income tax I paid the same with business taxes? As mentioned earlier, income taxes is different with business taxes. But for taxpayers under the percentage tax, take note that in filing income tax, there is what we call 8% optional income tax rate. Whereby, to emphasize, if the taxpayer chooses this option, this is already in lieu of percentage tax. So if the taxpayer, for income tax purposes, chose to be taxed using the 8% optional income tax rate, they shall no longer be required to file or pay the related percentage tax. Now remember, if the taxpayer's gross receipts or gross sales exceeds the VAT threshold of 3 million, they can no longer choose the optional income tax rate and are also required to update their business registration. And of course, they need to pay the appropriate business taxes, which in this case is value-added tax or VAT. The repercussion for not updating their registration for VAT once a taxpayer is already required to do so is they shall be liable for output tax but could not claim the related input tax. For filing purposes, the following shall be observed. For percentage taxpayers, use BIR Form 2551Q filed within 25 days after the end of each taxable quarter. 
while BIR Form 2550M will be used to file the monthly value-added tax declaration. Lastly, take note of the VAT receipt or invoice requirements, such as showing information, particularly the amount of VAT, and the issuance of invoice or receipts for taxable, exempt, and zero-rated sales. And that's it. So hopefully this video sheds light to your compliance as a business owner in relation to business taxes. If you're interested with other discussions in relation to business taxes, you can also watch my video on excise tax. As always, a huge thanks for watching. If you found this video very helpful, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell because it inspires me to create more videos like this. Stay safe everyone. I'll see you soon.